Hello, my name is Jeremy Blum, and this is my second design project for Info 4320. The assignment was to make a Jack in the Box. So, this is my Jack in the Box. It's a box cut out of acrylic. The handle is actually made out of staples. Um, inside the box, I have a speaker mounted, uh, which acts as an alarm system, which I'll talk about in a second. And there is also a limit switch that detects when the door is closed. Uh, there's a standard servo motor that actuates the arm and opens the door as well as brings the jack up. And a door hinge is used as the hinge for the box. Over on my circuit board, I, I'm using an Arduino. Um, I have the servo motor plugged in here. Three buttons with corresponding LEDs that you use for entering a code. And um, the input for my limit switch, and I'm using an RC circuit to debounce the input of the switch before it goes into the software. The reason I'm not using software to debounce the switch like I am for the buttons over here is because I'm using it as an interrupt, so I want to have a clean signal going in. Alright, so I'll show you how the box works. Basically the way it's set up is uh, you have to enter a code on these uh, six input code on these three buttons, so some combination of six key presses. And if you enter the right code, it plays a song and opens up for you. And if you play the wrong code, it gets mad at you. Uh, and there's an alarm on the box, so if, without opening a code, I try to just open the box, like this, it plays an alarm, um, and the jack will not come up. So, I'll show you one more time. And you can see that the alarm beeps there, and uh, thanks to the RC circuit, you don't have any issues with it detecting the alarm several times and getting annoying. Okay, so first I'll enter the wrong code. You can see it plays a noise there, and uh, the box doesn't open. If I now enter the correct code, it plays a song, the jack pops up, the door opens, and uh, everyone's happy. Now, to close the box again, once you've entered the code, what you do is you actually press all three buttons at once, the box closes, um, and you're ready to do it again. And that is my Jack in the Box project.